Okay, hello. Uh, in this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how to attach an object to a specific bone in an armature. So, what we've got here is basically uh, an armature. Let me just go into the kind of skeleton view here. We've got an armature. I'm not going to show you how to build that because you might already know. Um, an armature consisting of three bones, and then I've got three cube objects here. And my objective is to, to kind of have each of these cube objects follow exactly the motion and the, of each of these specific bones. Okay, and the way we do that is let me just show you how it works. By the way, so if I select, if I go into pose mode and I select one of these bones and I rotate it and I um, do something else with it, there we go. Rotate it that way. You can see how each of these objects. Is, is literally following each armature. And this kind of movement, this kind of attachment is, is, is very good for kind of uh, me mechanical objects. So things like robots and, and things like that. So um, not, not kind of perhaps uh, animals where you want the kind of um, the outer skin to kind of bend and flow with the armature, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's get started. Um, this, these are our three cubes. I've overlaid them onto the armature here. They're not in any way connected or parented or anything like that. I'm just going to show you how to do it, what I just explained earlier on. So what we do, you basically uh, click on the armature first. As I said, the armature is consists, consists of three bones here. And then you go into pose mode and you choose the bone OK, let's start with this, the right hand bone first. You choose the bone that you want to be the parent of the object. OK, in this instance, the object is this one. But let's just go back now. So we've chosen the bone. We're going to go back to object mode. And I'm going to now click on the cube object, as you can see. And I'm going to now click um, my shift button and then click on the armature with my left mouse. As you can see, it's highlighted both of these. And what I'm going to do now is click Control and P for parent. OK, this brings up an option menu and down towards the bottom here, second from the top is bone. OK, and what that's done now, that is parented um, this cube to the last bone that we selected. And that's the key. You have to first go in and select the bone in the way I showed you. OK, so that this is now if I if I click on our um, armature and just rotate it there you can see that that object is now parented to this bone okay so we want to connect the other we want to parent these two objects now to these two bones same again click on oh I've, I've nearly forgot the, the the step here click on the armature first go into pose mode there we go and we select our bone there we go it's the middle bone this time and now I can come out of that and go back into object mode okay and I'm just going to click off that because I want to go into object mode of the I want to click on the cube object and now click shift and the armature okay and then click control and P for parent and then click bone and that has now parented this cube object to this bone in that armature okay and the last one we want to obviously parent this object to this bone. So click on the armature in object mode, select pose mode and now select that bone. OK, and now we can exit that and go back to object mode and now select the cube and shift and then select the armature, the full armature there and then click control and P for parent and then click bone. There we go. So now this object, this cube object should be a, a, a child, if you like, of this parent bone. This cube here is a child of this parent bone. And this object here is a child of that parent bone. I'll just demonstrate now. So as you've seen earlier, if I just rotate this, click rotate. I mean, I mean, oh, I'll go back into, go into pose mode. OK, so I'm going to rotate this bone. Yeah, there we go. So they're all kind of they're all kind of sub each of these bones, if you like, is a child of the of the main bone. If I click on this bone here, rotate, 
as you can see there we go and if I come to this bone and rotate there we go and that's how it works that's how you do it thank you very much